the Leo and Danny show. So, uh, <laughs> Scotty, I wanted to get your opinion on this. I feel like right now, more than ever, black people can get away with committing any kind of crimes against white people because white people feel so guilty about BLM. Yes. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, bro. It, you're you're 100 percent right and i'll tell you why <laughs> so i'm running today i'm going for a little jog i'm getting in the zone before the show going through my material in my head i jog by a guy who is just a thugged out black man there's no other way to describe him what does that mean danny yeah. explain because elaborate yeah what does that mean was he uh, wearing he, did he, was he carrying a gun he had a uh, a tattoo uh -huh. on his face okay of an ice cream cone oh that's that's pretty oh, thugged down is that, yeah that's <laughs> one of those guys does that mean anything I, that, scotty that was one of his heroes clearly uh, burr but know. um what happened was Leo told me once that the way to avoid a confrontation with a large black man is when you make eye contact, yeah. you gotta nod. You, the, what do you think? The nod, right? You is gotta that a real give him a little nod. Scotty, isn't that real? That, a, a black man is. told me that once. He yeah, says bro, you just make that nod. In any hood, bro, because if he doesn't nod back, you know it's a problem. Oh, <laughs> shit, dude. And also, it just you're letting him know you respect him. Right. I wanted to let this guy know, like, because I was running by shirtless. I had my shirt tied around my head as a sweat-reducing do-rag. I looked like a fucking fool. Like I was terrorists. wearing a pair of billabong board shorts in the hood. He would have fucked me up. Mm -hmm. So I had to let him know that, hey, I'm the submissive right now. But this, <laughs> this is what I'm getting to. This is what I'm getting to. He, right after I nodded to him, and he grudgingly nodded back, he tried to cross the street... The speed limit was 65 miles per hour there in three cars, two of them nice SUVs, I think a Lexus and maybe a Tahoe, had to come to a screeching halt. Driven by two white women, neither one of them honked their horn once because they were like, hey, right now with BLM? I can't find it in my heart to honk at these people. Can't do it. You got, if he wants to cross the street where there's no crosswalk and no red light and I'm going 72 miles per hour, let it be. Scotty, <laughs> would you say, Scotty, if you ran into Austin on Fairfax and Melrose, could you whip your cock out and slap him across the face with it <laughs> with no repercussions? I would have to do that. Yeah. You know, I'd pull and, out my wallet. Pull out your wallet, baby. <laughs> yeah. And more than that, I feel like if Scotty Chickens or another African-American man was in Beverly Hills in somebody's backyard stealing their Schwinn racing bike, uh -huh. the <laughs> old rich white guy would give him the benefit Memories. of the doubt. He'd Memories. be like, oh, he must be a bicycle repairman. I can't like, jump to any conclusions here. Borrowing My it. car broke down. I just really needed to borrow your bike. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or to take things up a notch, he could be raping their kid daughter whoa, whoa, in her whoa, bedroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And oh, Jesus, they Danny. Give me That's the a the Jesus, pussy Danny. Willing Lee. Not you. I'm talking about just a generic man who might look like you. And I feel like the father would just Jesus. be like, oh, uh, Clara must have a new boyfriend. How How is it going, sir? And even if Clara had duct tape over her mouth and was bound to her four post bed, <laughs> he would still close the door and go back up to his room. Maybe pour himself a glass of scotch. You know, He's got to get the memory out of his head I somehow. Feel, I feel like, you know, the black privilege hasn't been a thing until like maybe 2020, 2021. Yeah. Right. And now that it is a thing, mm -hmm. it's just like it's the thing. It's, it's nice, like, right? They don't know how to act. Uh, you know, I, I could say, you know, I've, I've abused it a couple different times. I abused it in Colorado. Well, let, me, let me hear it. What, what have you done? <laughs> so look, you guys know me, mm -hmm. right? It's me. Good man. Right? So I'm out in Colorado. My, my boy G-Ski and Choppa invite me to come to a Let's show. Let's get a round of applause for G-Ski and Choppa. Yeah. Shout out. You know, milk gang. Oh, right? Milk. We're in Colorado. Long story short. We sell out the show, right? Of course. We get there. The owner of the venue shows up talking about, I've never had a crowd this big. Crowd about this size. Shout out to the Danny Mullen Army because a lot of you guys are out there. Sick, dude. Sick. Um, oh, fuck yeah. The guy gets mad because we're like, yo, it's underage. We'll pay you to cut the bar. He's like, you guys are trying to flex on me. I mm. need $2,500. Mm. I'm like, wow. We'll give you $1,500. Mm. Suck my dick. Mm. <laughs> Literally. We wind up not even doing the show because he doesn't want to let you guys in. So fuck him. Mm -hmm. Um, we we're trying to leave. He he stops us at the door with all his security and goes, uh, "I need twenty five hundred dollars, or no one's leaving here." Mm -hmm. I go, "Who are you holding hostage, me?" And he was white, this guy. No, he was Mexican. Oh, and no. worse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on. <laughs> he was like 5'2", bro. He was like five, a 5'2 Mexican? Bro, on fucking cocaine out of his brain. Like, I was oh, like, wow. oh, so you holding me hostage, bro? Yeah. I have a penis bigger than you, you are, right? right? I'm like, he's like, no, 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 you're cool. But your friends over here, the white boys, they got to pay me. I understand. I'm like, oh, oh, so you're holding my friends hostage, mm-hmm. right? I'm like, you got the right. I was like, you got the right guy today. Yeah. I pulled my phone out. Did exactly the opposite of what he expected me to do. I was like, I'll call the police. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. I, I hit nine one one. Right. I guess there was already police calls and stuff. I get it. I we get out. He moves out of the way. He's talking about he's gonna go get a gun to come shoot my friend because we're not giving him money. We're like, suck our dick. Jesus. We're leaving. We walk outside. There's a whole crowd of the army outside screaming. The screaming the, the army, the Danny Mullen yes, army, yes, or the Scotty yes. Chickens no, army. No, the, the Danny Mullen army. <laughs> you know, saying the chopper. Nice army. travel, beautiful. The, you know, and um, so we're outside, and the police come up. <laughs> We got the videos come up, rush me. Hey, are you Scotty Chickens? I'm like, uh, yeah. Um, I didn't do nothing. You know, mm-hmm. they're like, oh no, we, we're here for you, man. You know, they said that you were being held hostage. <laughs> I was like, a five foot two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> bro. We get in the car, drive off, have a great night, smoking big blunts. Let's go. No, but, hey, know. hey, what was the name of that? Of that? Of that? The Bam Bam Production. Fuck Fan Bam Productions. Uh, it's the Danny Mullen. So we don't, we don't have their number, dude. Sounds we? like the Mexicans have branched hey, out from owning taquerias. 